Hey, what's up, Briefers? Meet Elvis, my Scarlet Hermit. I call him Elvis because he is a little bit more flamboyant than my regular Scarlet Hermit. If you can see right above his head, living on the shell, is a red tube worm. Now, he has not had that since the beginning. He seems to have picked that little guy up maybe a couple months back. Um, they've been buddies ever since. It's kind of crazy. And you may not be able to see it from this video, but right above the red tube worm, there's actually a brown tube worm that is growing right out from the shell. So it's a, it's a really interesting pair, or trio, I should say. Elvis and his tube worms. But yeah, Elvis is actually one of the biggest Scarlet Hermit that I have in my tank. My tank has maybe like five. So, yeah, and Elvis has just left the building. Just want to create a really quick video to introduce this little dude to you guys. Oh, also, one more question. Um, you, may, you may notice that there's a layer of algae on the sand. I'm trying to figure out what kind of algae this is, whether cyanobacteria or dinoflagellants. Um, let me spin it over a little bit. See, Elvis moved fast. But yeah, uh, I have been doing water changes with our DI water. And I do believe that it's going to get worse before it gets better, especially since I've been stirring the sand bed a lot to get all the gunk out. But I am curious what kind of algae this is. So, if you have an idea, let me know. That would be super helpful. Otherwise, this video is just to introduce you guys to one of my inhabitants. Elvis, the Scarlet Hermit, and his two hitchhiking feather dusters. Alright guys, hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I will see you next time.